Victorian and Annika stuck to their DNA, which is unapologetic glamour. In many ways, they were the girls who really brought the whole idea of evening wear on the red carpet to India. And that's exactly what they did, and they did it beautifully. The show was uh, predominantly white with a few black detailing, which is one of the biggest trends we've seen this season, a lot of black and white. They focused on the S-curve, the coveted hourglass shape. And I can imagine brides, um, I can imagine Bollywood starlets, all loving this collection. So you're right now at a post-show, cocktails and pizzas with olive. <laughs> Every show is just very stressful for us. No, but I think this show is very, very special because Nenika and I have always wanted to do an all ivory show. And um, it was very close to our heart in terms of the look because it was very, very dramatic, but at the same time, it was clean and feminine. And I don't know, we just loved, we loved, personally, really enjoyed doing this show. It's a lot of uh, hyper digital printing where, uh, you know, we've actually done actual blood cell the way it looks to uh, an actual clot what happens to it when you put it under the microscope that's how a neuron looks it's a study of the human anatomy which are broken down primarily in terms of the way they look under the microscope I've been for whatever personal reasons in and out of too many hospitals for the last uh, eight ten months and because of which uh, seeing people sick and everything sometimes you never you don't know what works when that's how it probably started Oh, I love the check blue pants. I loved a lot of the dresses. I love the stuff where she, you turn around and then you see the lace in the back. And this was one of those shows where you feel like, oh, I want that, I want that. Even if it's not something you would buy, you just kind of, it makes you want it. And that's the best part about fashion, so. It was a great show, especially seeing the three of them together. You know, Anna and Carlo and Rimzim, they've been contemporaries, they've been friends, and to see them together, I think, was very, very special. Also, to me, the three of these have been, in a sense, the new face of Indian fashion. Actually, over the past four or five years, we've seen how each has evolved their own very specific aesthetic, whether with Kalol, it's, you know, Bengali goth, with Rimzim and Anand, it's cultural. So to me, this was like almost like a masterclass of them doing what they do really good, uh, putting their best, you know, collective foot forward. And I think it was really, really good for Indian fashion. This has been like two years in the running where we've really been trying our level best to have people allow Rims and Manand and me to show together and you know again FDCI gave us all two designer shows this time but I think we really fought for it and we said we really just for once we want to show together and somehow everything fell into place and they allowed us to show uh, have a group show of the three of us so you know normally Rims and I are crying and uh, Anand's delirious but we were all in such a super mood this time because it was like a you know you're having your own backstage party and that was great. 